Hi everybody, welcome to another video and today I'm working on this 9 drawers mid-century modern beauty. It was actually a garage sale finding and it was in really rough shape. An old finish was peeling, there's lots of scratches, watermarks and even jam got stuck to the drawers. And this is the worst drawer, the other ones they were not bad. So you can see there's lots of work. I was dying to see what's underneath the old finish and I started working on the top right away before I even cleaned the whole piece. I scraped off the most of the finish but there were still lots of spots where my scraper didn't work. So there goes lots of sanding and sanding and sanding. I started with 120 grit sandpaper and finished with 180 because I was gonna stay in the piece. All watermarks and almost all scratches were gone after sanding except these three big deep scratches. And here I'm using ironing method trying to erase the wood fibers, scratched wood fibers, and it did work, it did help. But after sanding they were still visible and in a couple of spots I burned through veneer. You can't see it on the video but it's there, trust me. I didn't want to paint the top, I wanted to keep it natural but I had to deal with those scratches. So I decided to think about it later, after I'm done with the rest of the piece. And by the way, look at this wood grain. This is actually one of the most beautiful veneer pattern I ever worked with. I didn't send that one drawer, that was the previous owner, he wanted to refinish it a couple years ago and he did just one drawer and he said I'm done, that's too hard. I couldn't remove the old finish from the sides of the dresser, so I went for a chemical stripper. I know I should have taken the handles off to make my life easier, but I didn't. Actually, most of them were glued pretty good to the drawers. Only one was loose, so I stapled it back to the drawer. If you're thinking, why didn't she take off the legs for sanding? Well, they were sitting pretty good in their places, they were glued to the base, so I couldn't and I wouldn't because there was no reason. I sanded them like that, not a problem. Usually I don't sand the bottom of the pieces, but this wood was pretty rough, the manufacturer left it like that. I didn't like it, so I sanded it smooth with 220 grit sandpaper. And of course, there were more sanding, more sanding and more sanding. To stain the piece I'm using bare water based stain in the color walnut, but I didn't need a deep color, I just wanted a brown shade, so I dissolved the stain with water in 1 to 1 ratio. Good girl using a scale. And here you can see the big scratch, it's still there. So while I was staining, the idea came into my head. But for that idea, I needed the edges, the frame of the dresser, I needed a block. But I didn't want to paint it because I wanted the wood grain be as much visible as it possible. So I decided to go for the stain in the color ebony. And here's my idea. I decided to draw the lines through the burned veneer spots and through the scratches to mask him and then add random lines here and there. Genius, eh? 
But honestly, I was so worried. I was really worried that people wouldn't like the dress or they wouldn't buy it because that look, that lines, it's not a classy mid-century modern look. But I decided to take a risk. And you know what? When I listed it, people sent me messages. Oh, I love those lines. And this dresser was sold in a couple of hours. That was actually the first time I was using Otis oil for the top coat. And I love this product. But I actually had a little problem with Otis oil. After the first coat, my dresser looked blotchy. Right now on the top you can see it has already one coat of Otis oil and you can see those blotchiness, like white spots. I repeated a second coat and it helped a little, but some spots there were still blotchy. And I buffed and buffed and buffed. Didn't help. I thought something wrong was with me, but I asked Google and I found people they had the same problem with Otis oil. And they recommended add some orange or hemp oil. I didn't have hemp oil, but I did have orange oil and bee wax. And I ended up adding it and it helped. Some little areas were still a little bit blotchy, but if you didn't know where to look, you would never find it. Here's the last touches and let me remind you what I started with. And here's the final result. <laughs> <laughs> 